Thank you. Greet your neighbors. Say, happy resurrection power. That is latest. Have you ever heard that one? Happy what? Uh -huh. Jesus died once. What we are talking about today is just a record. He did it once. And he said, it is finished. Tell your neighbor, it is finished. Say it again. Say, it is finished. Say, it is finished. It is finished. Uh -huh. It is what? Wow. There are two, you know, major programs. Number one is Holy Communion. You know, it's rare for us to have this Holy Communion in this church because it's not for fun. Don't just do it because you can do it. No. Let the Holy Spirit. Because when Jesus said, this is my flesh, he did not cut his body. It was the word. Because he was the word. So he transferred the word into that bread. So that that bread become what? The flesh. You may be seated. You are welcome. Those who are outside, you are welcome. We are under the same umbrella. Don't mind the shelter. The presence of God is there. Even those who are at the back and the other door, we are under the same what? What we are receiving. In fact, you receive more than what we are receiving here. You who are outside. Because part of your body is also sacrificing. For you to stand, whatever position you are taking, you are carrying double portions. Praise the Lord. Le let me carry you. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 26. Because of the issue of Holy Communion, let me take this path. This is verse 17. On the last day of the festival of a refined blood, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparation for you to eat the Passover? You didn't hear me? You heard the scripture. Ah, Matthew 26, verse 17. 18, he replied, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. I want you to learn something from there. Jesus is the power of life. There is no need for him to go and beg anyone to say, please, can you give me a room? He just sent a word. That is power. Go to a certain man. Let me repeat this one. Go into the city to a certain man and tell him that the teacher, if it is you, you should ask those people, who is that teacher? This is my house. Who sent you to say the teacher wants to celebrate at my place? Who is that person? Hmm? The man never questioned the disciples. He just accepted. Because Jesus is the power of life. Jesus controls every, he controls the hair. He controls everything. The man obeyed. He never said, you are from where? Who is your teacher? Is it that criminal? Is it that teacher? No. He said, go and tell him. Every believer, we always speak with authority and power. Because that power and authority is invested in that name, Jesus. 
Remember what I was saying or what I said on the first day. He was the word. He became the flesh from the word. And the flesh was, you know, just a cover. The reality is the power of God in that flesh. Let's continue. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. Is there any passage where the disciples went back and said, Master, the owner of that house said, no, you can't find it. Even, you know, if you remember the time Jesus was going to Jerusalem, he did the same thing. Go into that city. You find a court. Tying under what? A tree. No one has ever used that donkey. Go and tie that one. If the owner asks you, just tell him that the teacher or the master, see, you, do you understand this uh, language? You have never seen this man. Even you, I just send my people to say, okay, go and get that bus. If the owner of the bus asks you, just say, Pastor Mulenga, I want to use that bus. You are going to insult me. You say, that idiot. You know, I'm just talking as a human being. But it was power coming out of Jesus. Because power can influence anyone. You cannot just say, Kabebe nabe ne wanga ndai dia tinde fo kukila mo, nine wo pasta wa pafo chikabu. Ha! I remember one day to alefo wanga ndai ti, no, ama pasta zi wala shupo kulipila. You get the picture. Atutiba lipile ya number one, but ya number two. Ikaba nishi. But here is the man whom you have never seen. You don't know him. He just said, go and tell the owner that I want to celebrate my Passover in his house. The man accepted. And the disciples prepared everything in that man's house without asking them, how much money are you going to pay me? That is what we are here for. We need to carry that power. We need to enjoy that power. This power cannot be seen by your mind. No, it is only your heart. You believe, you accept the life of Jesus. You become power. People will see you as a human being, but inside you, you are carrying what? The power of life. Nanuingakuloa kwamanga. Look at you, people of God. Meaning, those who are carrying Jesus, they are more powerful than these things. Umuntunga kuti abonfia pushi, abonfia nkola, ichi pululu, apango wangaisa kuipaya. What more Jesus who apangila ichi pululu fila fina ichi moneka? Aku atapu amaka, uwa bikile poison muringo she ni nani? Uwa periolu satu amaka ni nani? Uh-huh. If that person can be powerful in such a way that you are even scared, what more the one who made that snake to be a snake? Ngamamu mwana black mamba lechita so. Are you going to stand? But Jesus, you know, one day, Paul, ido bali mu ministry. But I want to because poison because why are you scared of, you know, these things that cannot even uh, take anything from you? Jesus, I want to have a command, come with me. I want to tell you that, okay, I want to tell you that 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 I
Iti mwalanda tfe bayama na wafuluwa. <laughs> Elo ngabena mwandiwe na wala ndo kulanda tkula kuchayi chumule kioku yako. Ewa lawa pastari kuluku. Because ndia bonfio mubidi. Ndia bonfio nshi. But if it is power, I can tell my brother to say, my brother, the vehicle that you are driving, I want it now. Go back home. I'll be using your vehicle. Power will capture his mind. He will agree to say, yes, daddy, I'll give it to you. No problem. In fact, no kuifuaya nshile ifuaya ine. If you are yesa wala ndile, okay, here is your twin brother. Mwafiyari kule dea inga. Pamula ndi wako wa Jacobo adimuma kayabula yo. The promised power was upon his life. Esa wevele, nji pigira fesu pundi, nji pere ufesu pundi. Kaya dite, ine no kukula ni mkula nshile usaka mana. Wakula shia nuku chila tuini brother wawi. Mwafiyari kwe dea inga. Amaka ya kwa lesa, yala poko mubiri ya mano. Nga wasenda fe yesu, you are a commander. Taule landa, but you are commanding. Na nguwa landa file chitika. Simple. Let's go. When the evening came, Jesus was inclined at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. If they can betray Jesus, who are you? Umuntu wenda na nkwe usenda nechola chanda la mopanga. Akuwa lukila. Lekeni uku ilisha nyangaba miya lukila vantu. Yesu wali panga kare foundation. Uku miya lukila mulaifi. Tachepo watu wami poka maka ya laifi. Aha. Nishibaya shayale kula nomba. Jude ya fumi nepali Yesu. Finchi ya buri lepo. Tapali. Nga kutiba mwa lukila Yesu. Na panope nepachalo pofile pababa le miya lukila. Pafule paaba letu alukila. Na mfe mulela nde chishinka, mulenda mchishinka, mulala mchishinka, pafule paaba tuishike chishinka chenu. Tachilepilo kutila tibalu wanibenu, aa, that is life in the flesh. But those who are carrying the power of life, they will keep on moving. They will keep on what? Moving. No mbaba mbifyo mchita, ngabami ya alukila feba chibusa venu nishi, fion sufia lubana. No, and she should be for Murufian. Nimbako disturbed it. Nimbako disturbed because she should be a pretty chon Dufian. So, Nachimu to me a message. Tabwe seche. What is your problem? What is your problem? Jesus, Tapari Chalufian, Judah. Judah, the man of Europea. I am a Mukufikir Shechebo. Namulife Yamun to onse. Kuriavan to a mother of the Valefik Shefia and Bapawumi Bueno. Let's go. This is 22. They were very sad and began to say to him, to one another, to one after the other, sorry, surely you don't mean me, Lord. That is in the flesh. Because remember that before Jesus was descended to heaven, they were just empty. It was Jesus who was filled with what? Power. So they could not even see beyond their confession that, oh, it's our brother. They were just asking each other, looking at the relationship which was there. They said, no, but within ourselves, is there anyone who can do this to our master? No. I think master is not me. I, I think it's not me. But Jesus knew it by the power of life. This is why people of God, don't trust your mind. Don't trust the people who are following you. Trust only the power of life. You know who is your friend and who is not your friend. You know who are your children and those who are not your children. By the power of life. That is Jesus. Let's go. This is 23. Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me, he will betray me. 24, I don't want to waste your time. The son of man will go just as it is written about him. But who to that man who betray the son of man? It would be better for him if he had been not born. So why do you worry about your betrayer? 
those who are gossiping about you. Jesus came to introduce the power of life such that even if there are people who are planning evil things, akalanda kulibene lyo bachitesho. Imwe chenu fie kukwata fie amenso ya kumupashi na matu ya kuisa chapwa. Inenga ni kwato mutende mukatika mutima na ngumule nyamba nkalia na malampu fo. Imo kuti mama na je na bomfwa eh na bomfwa bachisanga tulelanda na tafikwete nchito ichikwete nchito maka yabu mimuri ine Kusheko mwali ero le sale mpanga Kusheko nali ero le sale mipanga tuakumana fie Chilaumo na ishwa kwa leya Ngata ulenda na Yesu mm.